Hi guys, welcome back again to our channel Coder Circuit. In today's video, we'll be talking about one more very important feature of the Stream APIs in Java, which is the reduce function. Okay, so in the earlier one, we saw the map function, which was used to map a stream of data into their mapping values, say the double, the triple of those values. Okay, so before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please like, share, and subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates of the latest videos that we upload in your channel and at the same time if you really like our videos please share them with your friends and family so that those who are weak in coding they can get benefited by our videos okay and thank you for supporting guys it really means a lot and hope you will be supporting us like this in future as well okay so as i said today's topic will be the reduce function in the stream apis i will be showing you in detail how to use the reduce function okay so without any more ado let's get started okay this was our earlier program where we had seen how to map these values to the double of those numbers or to the three times or triple of those numbers and how to print them okay now in this one i will show you how to use the reduce function okay so just let's create a new java class called reduce example and it should be pascal case capital letters okay so as i said we will be using the reduce function okay so first let us create a list of integers Uh, let me import this java.util and let us say numbers is equal to guys if you have not watched the previous videos please make sure you go and watch them because otherwise it will be difficult for you to understand from here directly okay i will give the link in the description and also in the i button so that it helps you a lot okay please go watch them and come back here okay so here to create a list i will use my arrays class dot i have the as list function here i will pass my numbers say one two three four five got it okay now the reduce function actually takes two arguments okay so first of all suppose we are trying to calculate the sum of this five numbers okay so in that case i will just say int sum is equal to first we have to convert this into a stream by using the stream function and then i will just say dot reduce okay as i said it takes two parameters or two arguments okay the arguments are let me just write it down here the first one is called the identity and the second one is called the accumulator okay the identity is the default value that will be stored there and then the accumulator will actually accumulate the total of whatever you were trying to do okay it can be the sum it can be the product and so and so okay so in that case the sum of this five i will consider the identity as zero okay and then i will say you can see here identity it becomes automatically and here i will take two variables a comma b and then i will just give a lambda expression like this and i will just say a plus b okay and you can give a space here something like this so that it looks better okay so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to calculate the sum of this five values or the stream of this five integers by taking the reduce function and initially this identity argument is storing the sum as zero then gradually it is iterating over the stream and calculating the sum and storing it here in the sum variable okay now simply if i try to print my sum i can just say sum plus sum okay now let's see if we are able to do it or not let me run this yes guys you can see here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is actually 15 and we're getting the output okay now say we want to calculate the product of the five numbers it can be anything any kind of numbers you can just take this as an example and you can go ahead okay so we are trying to calculate the product now i will just say int 
product is equal to same i will just say numbers dot stream and then i will say dot reduce okay now again we have to pass the identity and the accumulator correct so in that case let us pass zero as the initial value of the identity and let us take similarly a comma b and let us keep the lambda expression and give a into b okay fine now after that let us try to print out our product variable let's see what we get and can you guys guess the output it should be 5 4 the 20 60 2 the 120 right you are also guessing the same thing the output should be 120 correct the multiplication of all the values let's see if it is correct or not even <laughs> i want to check you let's see what we get for the product okay guys you can see here right we're getting zero because the initial value or the identity we have taken as zero so ultimately zero will be multiplied with all the numbers so this will not give you the correct answer okay so for it to be correct obviously we have to store the identity as one right then only we'll get the correct answer please remember that when you were doing the operation just try to understand the logic in your mind and then go ahead with the solution okay so here uh now you can see we have got the proper output 120 okay so that's it how uh, this is how you can calculate the product of any number of streams of integers okay that's it now here instead of writing this a plus b in the add function or in the reduce for finding the addition or the sum of this five stream of integers what you can do is you can simply take our integer wrapper class and here you can just say sum okay and you can simply remove this thing this is not required at all okay that's all now because this integer wrapper class has this function called sum okay so let's just run this now and see if we are getting the same output or not yes guys you can see we are absolutely getting the same output so instead of writing the two variables and then assigning the sum like this you can also write this the integer wrapper class and then you can easily use the sum from that okay see here this is the actual sum function public set int sum int a and b and it returns the value of a and b okay so this is inside the integer wrapper class we are using that okay so that's about it i hope you have understood this rather than writing the other way around we are simply using the some function in the integer class okay and this is a syntax of the streams so we have to use it like this okay got it so this is how you can calculate the sum of a stream by reducing the multiple values into a single value also you can find the product by reducing the multiple values into a single value okay got it and for sum it can be zero and for the product it should be one because we have to continuously multiply the numbers right if it is multiplied with zero then obviously the total product will be zero only okay i hope you have understood this guys if you have any problem any doubts please post them in the comment section i will be very happy to clarify them and at the same time if you really like our videos guys please go ahead and like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon because that really motivates me to create more better content for you okay that is what we expect from you and thanks a lot for watching till the end i really appreciate that and till the next video till the next time this is Saurabh signing off bye bye and happy learning thank you